Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks again, and today we are checking out this locomotive Type 231K Pacific engine. Actually, this is the engine and the tender, as you guys can see. Anyway, what I figured we'd do today was have a quick little look at this thing. We'll send it around the loop, which is, of course, this little bit of the map right here. Uh, this loop right here, and uh, we'll see how it acts, because it looks cool. It uses uh, some, some cool wheels. So, let's see how it acts, see how it works, see how fast we can get it going, and, um, yeah, we'll just have a little look at it. So, let's go ahead and get inside, and see what we can do straight away, shall we? Alright, we're in. So, uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and scroll down on the thingamabobby to see if there are any instructions on how to use this. Um, there, there are no instructions. Okay, we gotta work it out ourselves. Fire ignites, let's do it! Oh, wow, okay, there's, there's valves everywhere. Uh, we're gonna open up all the valves. I think that might make sense. We're gonna open up like literally all the valves. Uh, we have a whistle. We have a throttle lever and we have brakes. Okay, throttle up. There we go. Headlights on. There we go. Interior lights on. Yes. All right, we're going. All right, let's open this up too. Oh, damn. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that this thing is probably electric, actually. Uh... I don't quite understand what's going on, because I don't think the Steam's actually done anything yet. Um, yeah, everything's open. Uh, in fact, actually, let me slow this down to zero again. Uh, we need to work this out. Okay, because there's no coal in it right now. What in the world? I have to dump it out. Okay. I have to dump out the coal in order to pick up the coal to send it into here. That's a bit ridiculous, but okay, we're going to do it. So, if we can ignite it, which I think it is... Is that glowing? It's not glowing. Oh, the temperature's definitely going up, though. So I have to fill this up. This is ridiculous. But here we go. <laughs> here we go. Because this firebox doesn't have a hopper on the top, it means we have to fill it up manually, which means we have to actually get it out of here and put it into there manually. Okay, insane. It's ridiculous. Okay, here we go. 10? Is that the maximum? That's ridiculous. Okay, I'm saying ridiculous a lot, but I do mean it. Anyway, let's go. So, it must be powered by electricity, uh, at least a little bit, which is kind of weird. That's very strange. Um, but the boiler itself should actually work in the end as well. So, once the boiler pressure gets up, I think it'll start moving properly. Yes, off it goes. Oh, this is cool. This is very cool looking. I like it. Okay, cool. So, we're going to continue around. I'm going to go as fast as I can. Our speed is currently 15 meters per second. And rising. It's actually going up from there. I'm going to keep this going up too. I'm going to send this as high as I can. There we go. All the way up to 100. That might be a silly thing to do, but we'll see what happens. Here we go. Oh, isn't it beautiful? This is actually really sick. Anyway, um, there is a thing that says that the water... In fact, that valve's closed. Um, this thing has water in it, right? I don't know how we would get the water out of that into the actual... Into the actual train? Uh, there's no way of actually doing it. So that's confusing. That's very confusing. Oh, we're going a bit fast. We're going a bit fast. Ah, diggity dog. In fact, actually, there's a rope down there. Oh, we would tie it together there. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. What a beautiful map, by the way. This thing looks awesome. Look. Ah, diggity dog. I really want to build a steam locomotive again. Mine didn't end up working properly, but uh, I think it'd be really cool to make another one, to be honest. But yeah, look at us go. Alright, what speed are we going? 22. Okay, so we're going to send it all the way around the loop. In fact, this is a good straight. On this straight, we're going to see how fast it goes. So we're currently going 22 meters per second. Almost 23. I don't know what that is in miles an hour. But uh, I would assume quite fast. Yeah, we're not going slow. Also, the battery charge is going all the way down too. That's at 0.47. That's, that's really low. That's really low. Whistle? Hey, nice. That's cool. That's very cool. What is this? Inoperable. Okay, that's a, that's a valve. Okay, and then it breaks. All right, we don't have to worry about any of that. We do need to worry about putting coal in here, though. And if we're going this fast, I, d I don't know. Putting coal in seems like it's going to be a pain in the butt. Because the coal falls out of there and then disappears. Like, it's supposed to be falling out and it's just it's just leaving. Because we're going too fast forwards. Oh, there's one. Hey, there we go. We got an extra one. Okay, cool. 
This is actually working very, very nicely. I don't know what this thing would be used to actually do, uh, to be honest. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. What would, what would you think it would be used to do? Maybe shunt some, like, passenger cars around? Something like that? That'd be awesome. In fact, should we spawn a passenger car in and see what it looks like? I think that would be really cool. So we'll wait until we get there. We'll spawn in a passenger car. We'll do a track switch. And we'll see if we can actually uh, attach ourselves on. I think that would be awesome. We do have to slow down for that, though. So that's an interesting thing. Um, but no, we got this. We got this. Yeah. Pulling into the harbor. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and slow ourselves down now. Oh, wow. Okay, it's going to take us a while to slow down. Apply the brakes. Disconnect the brakes. There we go. So we're going to go to the end. Because we need to switch over to the track on the right. Oh, wait, I can't. I can't switch. Oh, no, it's automatically doing it. Interesting. Uh, we won't be able to get a passenger car on here properly. Because um, we don't have any track switches. Okay, never mind. Full speed, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so now that we've seen it during daytime, as you guys can see, let's see what it's like during nighttime. Here we go. Okay, so we get our headlights on the front. They look pretty cool. We get our lights inside the cabin. Um, they actually give off quite enough, like, enough light in here. That's cool. Uh, and then on the rear, those are so bright. That's, that's kind of very, very bright. All right, main brake zero. Main throttle full. Let's see what happens. Here we go. I don't think it goes fast enough to actually fall off the tracks. Oh, and also we have a, um, a calculation here. So apparently 22 and a half meters per second is actually 80 kilometers an hour or 49.5 miles an hour. We also have a heavyweight max speed of, uh, 37.2 miles per hour. Interesting. Very interesting. I like this train. I think it does look beautiful. And also the interior, I think looks really cool too. Um, and then I like the way this works. It has like a little, a little bowl right here. I, I don't see why you would have it like this, but yeah, there's a little bowl right there. Kind of cool. Kind of cool indeedy. All right. Is there a way for me to get up and over this? I don't think there is. Also, we're running out of coal. We are running out of coal. Keep putting it in. Equip coal. Hey, there we go. All right, keep it going. We're running out. It's like, it's dispensing it, but only one every, like, ten is actually ending up here. That's silly. Very silly. All right, well, anyway, um, I want to do this. I just love doing this, so that's what we're going to do. Also, we're going to make it daytime. Hey, there we go. There we go, indeedy. There's going to be a meteor strike. This thing is awesome, though. I love it. I love it. All right, cool. Meteor strike, where you at? Also, what does this say on the front? Does anyone know what that means? I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Oh! <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. All right, I want to see what that looks like going through there, actually. Let's teleport down there and have a little look. Here he goes. It actually took a direct hit, but it is okay. Like, there's nothing actually wrong with it. Let's have a look. Watch it come down. Oh, look at how cool that looks. Nice. That actually looks really cool. There we go. And off it goes. Nice. Okay, well, anyway, let's try and get back on board real quick. Do do do. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try and get on top of the tender, maybe. Okay. This is going to be trickier than I thought. Okay, on the straight bit of track, go. Okay, I'm on the front of the locomotive. Not really what I want it to be, but that's okay. We can jump backwards. Go, go, go. Woohoo! Nice. Um, the tender itself does actually obviously have the water back here. Uh, and it's got 7,000 liters of water. That's pretty, like, impressive. Um, and then the water in here, we are actually running out. Okay. So what you'd do is you'd attach this. Onto there. You'd also attach it onto there. And that will uh, increase the amount of water that's in there, I think. It's not doing it. It's not actually pushing the water across. Weird. Alright. Well, anyway. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video on actually checking this thing out. Um, and there you go. We've done it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed whatever the heck this was. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.